En we zijn weer terug. We zitten nog steeds in het Be Connected gebouw in Amsterdam Zuidoost. Uh, het is een uitzending van Fast Moving Targets en we zijn hier op de Permanent Beta Dag. Uh, we spreken met diverse bezoekers en deelnemers. Er is weer iemand naast me aangeschoven. Vertel even in het Nederlands wie je bent. Hoi, hey, ik ben uh, Mark Meijnema. Ik uh, ben hier gewoon ook bezoeker. Um, en uh, normaal gesproken help ik sprekers hun verhaal dat ze hebben wat beter uit te leggen. But now we sp speak to each other in, in uh, English because you are also doing something in uh, well abroad. Uh, yes, um, so Permanent Beta has been pretty successful for about four years now in the Netherlands. And uh, just last week <coughs> we uh, went to South Africa for a first Permanent Beta session over there. And it was actually pretty successful. Uh, it was still small, but uh, it has had the ex exact right atmosphere for what you would expect of a permanent beta session. So uh, hopefully there will be more of them. And not only that, but I went to Iran for traveling uh, last year. I was there for 10 weeks and I was discovered, uh, I was invited for a TEDx event. And there I met the sort of atmosphere that is actually very similar to what you encounter here. So I went to talk about that with Martijn and he said, okay, but um, would permanent beta be possible in Tehran, Iran? And I thought, well, why not? And then he said, okay, let's go. <laughs> so, so you mentioned the word atmosphere twice. What, what, what sort of atmosphere uh, does permanent beta need? Uh, what it needs is uh, um, uh, curious people. So people who really come to broaden their minds in whatever way they want, um, very open-minded people, and the diversity is perfect. So lots of people from very different backgrounds, so uh, you get to learn unexpected stuff and true innovation because that happens when you mix very different stuff together. Because if, if you go to Iran and you have to explain to people there what it's all about, what is it all about? Uh, usually what I say is that it's mostly about um, the mixing of very different people together. So the mixing of networks. There are networks that do stuff in tech, there are startups, there are hackathons. All this exists already in Iran, but they don't mix. And that is something uh, that I think Permanent Beta is pretty unique in doing. So uh, Permanent Beta has been able to do that in the Netherlands, but we saw it in South Africa happen. So people from very diverse backgrounds came together and, and were baffled by each other's ideas and I'm just really curious what would happen if we would do such a thing in Iran. So why do people not mix there? I think people tend, it's comfortable to be in your own network with people who understand you. Uh, that happens here too. This is just a really easy country to mingle because everyone lives next door and everyone speaks the same language. Um, but I think it's just, it's comfortable. It's easy. <laughs> so, so what what do you do to uh, well to change this? Because uh, of course you can go there and say, well, we're going to have a, a permanent beta day over there. But uh, well, if if people don't mix, are are they going to come? Uh, well, it's not that they're against mixing. I went to uh, this TEDx. There was a big TEDx event there, um, and I saw the exact right atmosphere so I met dentists, air traffic controllers, tech people, artists, I met them but it's a thing with TEDx it is this beautiful network for two three days and then everyone goes their own way and it ceases to exist and that's the thing about permanent beta it's pretty permanent <laughs> so uh, this network uh, is sort of persistent and that's what I'm sort of hoping for that would happen. So how do you go about? You, you, you go over there, you try to find a space probably, um, you try to involve local people, what's, what's the plan? Uh, I hope to involve local people because it, it can only be carried by local people, especially in Iran because uh, the government is, as we might guess, it's pretty big over there and, um, and they're very wary of foreign influence. But if this is something that truly stems from Iran, then there's no reason why it shouldn't succeed. So, and I don't, and I personally don't believe that we should go there and bring permanent beta. It's something that, hopefully, they will be enthusiastic about themselves, and see the opportunities to mix not just with their own networks inside Iran, but also abroad. Don't you? Uh, well, isn't it 
uh, well, maybe the most difficult route to follow. Uh, Iran doesn't seem like a country, um, well, I don't know much about Iran, <laughs> to be honest, but, but, but it, it sounds difficult. Uh, I don't know if it's difficult. It's interesting because uh, there's whatever you talk about in Iran, there's not one truth. So everything is not allowed, but at the same time, everything is allowed. It uh, depends on who you meet, where you go. So um, it's uh, more like a, a complicated country, but going there is not that easy. You just buy a plane ticket and uh, you're at the airport. It's not that difficult. And actually, Iranians are really, really eager to... to to meet the outside world. They're pretty isolated. Uh, they have been pretty isolated for the last 40 years, especially the last 10, 15 years, and they're really eager to meet the rest of the world. So actually it's not that difficult to, to meet Iranians. Okay, so so what, what is, the, is the, the route you see ahead of you? Is it, uh, when, when are you satisfied? Um, well, to me, this is just like uh, a kid with a chemistry box. So you have these, these, there's all these great networks, and I'm just really curious what would happen if they mix. So personally, I would be satisfied if that happens. And if Permanent Beta is sort of a platform for people to mix more often, then it's not just bridge, bridging brain, tech brain and culture, but bridging tech brain and culture is plural. So that would be perfect. What sort of time schedule do you have in mind? None at all, really. Um, hopefully next spring we will be going to Tehran and do a first small event for whoever shows up. And then we just have to see um, who's interested. Are they, are they really picking it up? Is this something they want to organize further? No idea. So it's a big experiment. <laughs> big adventure. Yeah, it's a big adventure too. Uh, we, we just don't know. But. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oké, okay, tot zover. Straks een volgende gast.